Hi, Lee Farnell here, and I'm in Boros in Sweden. This is the textile centre of Sweden. We're here for a water polo championship, but I thought I'd do a bit of research for business while I'm here. This is out of uh, my hotel window, lovely park there, a lot of statues around. Nice place to visit, weather a bit, bit funny. But anyway, I want to show you some product we bought while we were here, some nudie jeans. Now, if you're teenagers, you probably already know about this, but what I want to talk about was the power of value adding and educational marketing. I tell you, we're going to do this in Blue Rocket. Um, here is a little booklet. You can see there's the, I've torn the, um, that was in the back pocket of the jeans. It comes automatically with the jeans. It's a little colour booklet. There it is. Sweden, family, setting uh, the scene of where they come from. Right up front, nudie jeans, the naked truth about denim. They give you some education about denim. They talk about the passion they have about making jeans and why people uh, wear jeans and how personal jeans are to us all. Here, what's this say? Jeans are more than just a piece of clothing. A pair of jeans is like a second skin, naked and personal, like being nude. And then product, here straight away, here is a product range in the middle page, cool product that they have. Gee, I wouldn't mind some more of that product, we say. Check out our collection of nudie jeans at nudiejeans.com. Upsell, the orange thread, watch it. Watch it uh, at nudiejeans.com. Then we have some more information about uh, denim, about the living colour of denim and how denim changes colour and how you uh, can uh, salvage denim, um, different types of denim and how they make the denim and what makes their denim different. When wearing denim, the indigo, the blue, naturally wears out. And then they go on further. Here are some more product photos, cool product photos of their product range. Then, nudie jeans. We use organic cotton. The difference in our cotton, our point of difference compared to the competition. The long-term goal is to use only organic cotton. So now we start to bring in the green, the environmental, the social responsibility component. Um, some more product photos. What are we learning here? What are we learning here? Upsell, value add, educational marketing. How can you use some of these ideas? What booklet could you have? More product, more cool product, more cool product, more cool product. Then we talk about washing and wearing. And it says, you know, wearing your nudie jeans for at least six months before you wash them is only valid for dry indigo. They talk about the way to personalize your jeans by not washing them. Look at this. Wear your nudie jeans for six months before washing. They talk about down the bottom here, check it out, the break-in process of a pair of big bent in dry denim, used for eight months. So how you you can use for two weeks, use for four months, used for what's this? Use for eight months, eight months, and so all the different ways to personalize your jeans. Then again, corporate and social responsibility, choice of supplies. Now this is all on the website as well, by the way. So. This information you take from your website, put into, here's some photos of where it's made. They I don't go to third world countries where the human rights are being abused. They do a lot of it in Turkey um, and they're made in Italy. And then there's the different styles for different personalities and different body types. So here we have a booklet that's educating people about the product, not only about the product in terms of how to buy it, what type of, but what to do with it afterwards, how to maximize the value, how to personalize it to make it yours. And again, it talks about, um, you know, cool upsell, nudiejeans.com, the website. Here is uh, the, the docket that's on the back of the jeans. And you'll see the designer, M. Erickson, I think it's Maria Erickson or something, made uh, it from Sweden. She's actually from Gothenburg, and, uh, made, but made in Italy. So high quality, we know the cotton's good, we know the design's good, but the fact of the matter is it, it is uh, value-adding. And it's upselling at the same time and building your story. So how can you use this? What is your story? What are you doing right now to build value into your story? Do clients know your true story? Are you allowing clients to personalize and make your product theirs and bring them into your mission? So I thought I'd share that with you because really it is a very powerful strategy. And, uh, you know, my kids go crazy about these, these jeans. And to tell you the truth, I've, got a, I've actually got a pair on now. And I've got to say, they are very cool. I don't know if someone of my age should have them, but who gives us stuff anyway? Um, and uh, we got them at a good price, so that's, that's all very well. So I hope that's useful.
value add educational marketing uh, what is it it's a booklet you don't have to necessarily do one to that extent but if you uh, at least go halfway you will add value to your product Lee Farnell, Blue Rocket, wants some more information, go to our website, www.bluerocket.com.au. And by the way, make sure you do check out a free gift from Blue Rocket because there's $697 in value right there for you to help you grow your business. See you soon. Lee Farnell in Sweden.